Hello everyone and welcome back to On The Spot STEM. We're back with that Amy grind. Today we'll be doing DB Tables Part 3. Um, in the past two videos, I covered two problems from the 2018 Amy 1. And you can go check them out if you haven't already. I'll put the links in the, des in the description. But today we are going to be doing 2016 Amy 2, number 12. And basically, um, I explained in the previous two videos, but the idea of a DB table is that we essentially optimize our recursion in problems to make it a lot faster and mainstream. And then we can just use that to solve the problem quickly. So problem 12 reads, the figure below shows a ring made of six small sections, which are your, you are to paint on a wall. You have four paint colors available and you will paint each of the six sections a solid color. Find the number of ways you can choose to paint the sections if no two adjacent sections can be painted with the same color. So at first glance, this problem doesn't look very intimidating for a number 12 because we only have four colors available and we only have to paint six sections. And uh, one of someone might say that, okay, you have four choices for the first one and then you can't have the same one. So three for the second, three for the third, three for the fourth, three for the fifth, and three for the sixth. And they would multiply this to get four times three to the fifth. However, this does not work because if you look at the problem statement, it says no two adjacent sections can be painted with the same color. That means that the last section cannot be that the same as the first section either. So you essentially have to eliminate all those cases. And now if we try to do casework on what the last section and the first section will be, we'll have to do lots of casework for the other sections and that will get very messy very fast. So instead of that, we want to see what happens when we do our recursion. So it's pretty easy to see that if you have a color, um, let, let's just call our colors A, B, C, D. And if you put color A in one of the sections, you can only put B, C, D in the other three. So what that means is if you continue this process on the last section, you'll have to put something other than A, meaning B, C, or D. So we can treat this as a problem where this is only on, the six sections will be laid out on a line. And basically, we can do our, our recursion from this way. And we basically just have to count the number of, uh, the number of times the sixth section is other than A. So we just have to count the number of times six sections would be B, C, or D. And what this means is we also have to do casework on just the number of, on just the uh, paint color that we are currently using in a section. So since we only, since we only have four paint colors available, we only have to have four columns. And since we only have six sections, we only need six rows. So since this is relatively small, I'm just gonna do it over here instead of on a Google Doc. And I'll draw out my table here. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four. These are the four colors respectively, and we have our, um, we have our sections with, and there are six of them. So essentially we want to count, if we start with color one, we want to count um, f of six of two plus f of six of three plus f of six of four, because we can't have one in the sixth section. So now we can just do a recursion. Suppose we put color one in the first section, then the others would be zero. And we can do this without loss of generality and we can just multiply by four later since it doesn't matter which color we put in the first one because we'll have the same number of ways we can do it in the sixth section. So we have to remember to multiply by four at the end. So now if we put one in the first section, well, you can put one in the second section. And if you put a one here, you can put a two, three, or four in the second one. So you can just add up the one value to get two, three, and four. So that's one, one, one. And now on the third one, if you put a two, three, or four, basically you just have to add up these ones to get the next one value. So that's three. And you have to add up one, three, and four to get two, which is two. And you have to add um, the color one, color three, color four, which is zero, one, one. Uh, color one, color two, color four, sorry, which is zero, one, one to get the number of ways to get color three in our third section, which is two. And then zero, one, 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 two, three is equal to two. 
which is our fourth one. And so basically you can see why we're doing this. It's because if you put a color in a section and you want to put another color in the next section, you can't put the same color in two sections, but you can put a different color each time. So that means the number of ways you can put a color two in the next section is equal to the number of ways you can put a color one plus the number of ways you could put color three plus the number of ways to get color four in the previous in the previous section. And for color three, it's just equal to the number of ways you can put one, two, and four in the previous section to get the next section. So we can just continue this process for our next few, few rows. And we'll get that um, for the fourth section, there's two plus two plus two equals six ways to get one. Three plus two plus two is equal to seven ways to get two. Three plus two plus two is equal to seven ways to get three. And three plus two plus two, seven ways to get color four. Now for the fifth section, we have seven plus seven plus seven, 21. Then we have six plus seven plus seven, which is 20. Then we have six plus seven plus seven, which is 20. And we have six plus seven plus seven, which is 20. And the last one, we have 20 plus 20 plus 20, 60. We have 21 plus 20 plus 20, which is 61. We have 21 plus 20 plus 20, which is 61. And we have 21 plus 20 plus 20, which is 61. And now remember, so basically what this means is that if you start with color A, there would eventually be 60 ways, or color one, there would eventually be 60 ways to put color one in the last section, 61 ways to put colors two, three, and four. But as we established earlier, we can't have the same colors in the last section. So we cannot have a one here, but we can have a two, three, or four. So that means the number of ways that it's possible if you start with color one is equal to the sum of these three uh, entries, which is equal to 61 plus 61 plus 61, which is 183. So 183 is the number of ways we can color the wheel if we started with color one in the first section. Now, as we said earlier, we have to multiply by four because we don't have to start with color one. We can start with any of the colors. So all we have to do is multiply 183 times four, which is equal to um, 732. So 732 is our answer and we are done. We can put 732 and move on. Uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe and share it with your friends. Um, the next video in the series we'll be making will be 2018 Amy 1, number 12. So stay tuned for that. And this kind of concept appeared on a bit older Amy's too, but it appeared a lot more on newer Amy's as you, as you just saw with this problem. So if you want some other problems um, that you want us to do that are DP tables, we can add it to our series and you can put it down in the comments. Thank you.